Now this is Sea Horizon today. Property me brothers is a passerist. Three bedroom unit, size at 1335 square feet. So we have got an EC with just very recently MOP. Now this is Sea Horizon today. Property Lean Brothers is at Passeris. We have got an EC with just very recently MOP. We have got three bedroom unit, size at 1335 square feet to share with you. This is perfect for families and also for beach lovers because we are just a stone throw away from Passeris Beach. I'm very excited to share this unit with you. Let's go check it out. Now coming to the unit at Sea Horizon, now this EC TOP in 2016, so it's recently MOP in October. Now this project is developed jointly by MCC Land as well as Sustain Land. So two very well-known property developers and some of their past works include Poist Residences, Region Residence and the upcoming One Burnham and One Mayor. So if you've been here before, you'll notice that the Scandinavian Nordic design inspirations are truly one of its kind. One other special feature that I want to point out to you is that this whole project is actually sitting on elevated land. So making the ground floor unit seems like it's on the second floor. Now this EC just recently MOP passing its 5 year mark so meaning that Singaporeans PRs are eligible to buy. After staying here for 5 more years, Singaporeans PRs and foreigners will all be qualified to purchase this unit over here. Okay, to share a little bit more about this project, let's pull up the site plan for Sea Horizon. Sea Horizon is actually sitting on the largest plot of land in this cluster of condominiums. And what this means is that from the map view, you will notice that Sea Horizon actually has got a lot of communal spaces between the block and the distance between each block is further as well. So looking at the shape of the entire site, you will notice that the stacks are constructed in a U-shaped manner which is actually great for catching a lot of sea breeze coming in from the north. In totality, there are 12 blocks and these are 10 to 13 storey stacks making up a total of 495 units. There are 22 two-bedroom units, 1873 3 bedroom units, 171 4 bedroom units, 92 5 bedroom units and 21 penthouse units. We are in stack 31 and this stack faces towards northeast so you do not get any afternoon sun. Now this home is very unique because it is a large 1335 square feet. Now this size is as big if not bigger than some of the 4 bedroom units that are available in this project itself. So looking at floor plans and layout, the current configuration is that of a 3 bedroom in somewhat of a dumbbell kind of shape as you get bedrooms stuck on both sides of the home set separated by the living and dining space. And yes, you have got the option to reconfigure this into a 4 bedroom kind of configuration. Now let's start the home tour proper. So coming to the unit, you will notice that the digital lock has been done up for you. And this is the intercom unit which you will use when your guest calls up to access through the lift. You will notice that okay, a lot of shoe racks that are being done for you already. So plenty of storages for your shoes. And not forgetting this very huge window over here which allows a lot of light and breeze coming into the unit. This is the DB lock, quite nicely hidden. Spaces for you to put your storage as well as some display ornaments, your photographs. Similarly, over here, this whole stretch of walls, what you can also do would be to construct a whole panel of shelving for your storage needs as well. Moving over here, you notice that how come there is a door over here? So this unit is actually very special because it has got no access to the kitchen itself. The other one will be from the living room. So coming to the kitchen, you will notice that okay, there is an electrolux hook and hop over here. And there are three burner stove that is perfect for your cooking needs. There are plenty of storage spaces, top hung cabinets for you for all your kitchenware. And below here, we've got an electrolux microwave. Very good size space for your fridge. And of course, the sink is over here as well. Moving in deeper into the kitchen. And now this kitchen is very special because if you notice over here, the owner has actually done up a dry kitchen island countertop. You can see a whole row of alcohol that has placed up there and wine glasses over here. So it's actually very convenient because this is where you can prepare your breakfast and your meals and this has got direct access to the dining table. So your kids and your family can have the meals over here. Let's say if you're, when your friends come over, this is also an excellent place to host all of them. Coming to the yard, this is actually a utility room as well as a toilet. Uh, the utility room can double up as a storage space or if you've got helper, this can be your helper's room. One good thing is that there's a big window over here and this makes sure that the whole place is actually very well ventilated. 
So before I show you the rest of the house, let me share a little bit more about Pasir Ris itself. So Pasir Ris, which means white sand in Malay, describes the long stretch of white sandy beach along the northeast coastline of Singapore from its early days as an undeveloped area mainly occupied by kampongs and plantation estates. Pasir Ris has become a residential estate that exudes a lively seaside ambience. And as a township of its own, it has developed very much into a very self-sufficient region which has everything ranging from schools, amenities, F&B options, recreational activities as well as work opportunities. So now you may ask, where exactly is Sea Horizon? So Sea Horizon is actually located in this cluster of condominiums. The nearest train station to Sea Horizon is Pasir Ris MRT, which is a 15 minutes walk. Now there are bus stops just located right outside Sea Horizon and three bus stops, eight minutes bus drive. So now we'll bring you to Pasir Ris MRT, which is on the east-west line. One MRT station down will be the Tampanese MRT interchange, and Tampanese is where you'll be able to access the downtown line. This brings you very quickly to areas such as MacPherson, Chinatown, Newton, and Bukit Panjang. And if you're driving, it is a short 5 minutes drive to TPE, PIE, ECP which will then bring us to the rest of Singapore very quickly. Coming to the living space, I just want to highlight to you how big this area is. A lot of storage space once again. And if you notice, this is actually quite deep, but it still maintains the distance from the sofa to the TV. And one very special feature that I want to highlight to you is we've got this feature fireplace over here. So this is very in line with the Scandinavian theme of the whole house and of course with the project as well. So moving into the balcony itself, let's go check out the view. So coming into the balcony, this is actually very special because this links the living space to the bedroom over here. And uh, this is very good space for you to do your outdoor activities. Alternatively, you can consider this space for your gardening needs or like what the owner has done over here, you can put an outdoor swing. So coming to the first common bedroom, now the owner has actually configured this room into their kids' playroom. Uh, so as you can see, plenty of books and toys over here. There's a built-in wardrobe, so you can actually convert this into a bedroom. This can fit in a super single size bed comfortably. And one very special feature that I want to point out to you is that this has access to the balcony space. So there's a good outdoor space for you to utilize, such that if your kids you know, want to engage in some sort of a messy, dirty play involving paint or play-doh, you can easily do that as well. Now let's head out and check out the common bathroom. <music> Coming into the common bath, of course, this is a very good size common bath. Counter sink and top, good size mirror. Storage has been done for you for all your toiletries, shower facilities as well. And once again, you have got a window. So this is very, very important as you want to keep your bathroom well ventilated to prevent any moisture or mold from growing. And if you haven't heard about the launch of Pasir Ris 8, now this project launched in July and saw some of these units hit the 2000 PSF mark with a large portion of the units of course hitting 1005 to 1008 PSF. Now of course, Pasir Ris 8 is a premium project. Uh, it is a mixed integrated development that is located just 2 minutes away from Pasir Ris MRT as well as White Sands Mall. The premium that the buyers are paying for would be for the convenience as well as the accessibility. With this project, it is up to anyone's guess when it's completed 5 years later, the value of this property as well as the asking price that the residents would set. Which naturally will bring about an uplifting effect to the real estate landscape in the whole of Pasir Ris. And hence we see Horizon at an asking price of 1.48 million which translates to a PSF of $1,100. This means a comfortable upside for you should you choose to exit the property 8 to 10 years later. Coming into the master bedroom, this is a very good size master bedroom. This is a queen size bed, plenty of space for you to put in a side table. Same view as the balcony as well. And we've got built in two panel wardrobe space for all your clothes. And the owner has put in a, a very thick and big chest of drawers for their folded clothes. And even with this here, there's still plenty of walking space for you. Now let's go check out the ensuite bathroom. Coming into the master bath, we've got a very good size mirror over here with plenty of storage space, sink and countertop and of course shower facilities. And what is really good about this bathroom is that there's a window right over there so this keeps the whole toilet very well ventilated as well. Now let's pull up the map and talk about the pricing analysis in Pasir Ris. Looking at the map, there are primarily three main clusters of condominiums in this zone. So in the first cluster, we have Coco Palm TOP in 2019. The three to four bader size range from 1249 to 1337 square feet. Their asking is at 1.588 million to 1.87 million. And for MV residences, this TOP in 2013 and the three to four bader is ranging from 1108 square feet to 1249 square feet. They're asking at 1.19 million to 1.28 million. 
for the pallet, this TOP in 2016 and the 3 to 4 bader size at 1163 square feet to 1378 square feet, they are asking at 1.38 million to 1.78 million. At the NAS, TOPs in 2017 and the size is at 1238 square feet to 1432 square feet, they are asking at 1.395 million to 1.67 million. For the Livia, which TOPs in 2011, the 3 to 4 bader size is at 1259 square feet to 1346 square feet, they are asking at 1.26 million to 1.4 million. Now, at another cluster where Stratum and View 8 residences are, Stratum TOPs in 2016 and a 3 to 4 bader size is at 1348 to 1477 square feet. The asking is at 1.39 million to 1.88 million. For View 8 residences which TOPs in 2017, the 3 to 4 bader size is at 1345 square feet and it's asking at 1.63 million to 1.9 million. Now in a cluster that is next to Sea Horizon, we've got Sea Esther which TOPs in 2016, the 3 bader size is from 904 square feet to 1206 square feet. It is asking for 940k to 1.498 million. At Watercolors, which TOP in 2016, the size is ranging from 958 square feet to 1238 square feet. It is asking at 899k to 1.125 million. At Reaper Bay, which TOPs in 2016 as well, the size range from 1066 square feet to 1076 square feet and it's asking for 1.148 million to 1.25 million. And lastly, at Sea Strand, which TOPs in 2014, 3 meter size is at 1109 square feet. It is asking for 1.2 million to 1.25 million. So our 3 bader unit here at Sea Horizon, size at 1335 square feet, is asking for 1.48 million negotiable, translating to a PSF of only $1,100. Hence, to summarize, we feel that this unit hits a nice spot between a reasonable entry point PSF while offering you a good sized home. So for the last part of the house, which I think is the most special and most unique of this home, the size of it alone, it gives you so much flexibility to actually reconfigure this room. Of course, there is a built-in wardrobe over there and this is a queen-size bed. This can fit in two king-size bed. Alternatively, as configure this whole house into a four-bedroom kind of layout. Uh, it's actually by separating this room by a partition wall. Then of course, opening up a door over here, which leads out to the living room. In this way, your whole house can actually configure these four bedrooms. So before we end off this home tour, I want to share with you the facilities as well as the amenities in this area. For internal facilities at Sea Horizon, we've got two large swimming pools, outdoor barbecue, fitness corner, and lots of green terraces and pavilions. Just a 5 minutes walk along Jalan Loyang Besar will bring you to the Pasir Ris Park and an additional 3 minutes to the beach. This EC is perfect for anyone who loves the beach and the outdoors. Downtown East is just a 5 minutes walk away which will serve you with plenty of amenities and recreational needs with Downtown East Chalet, Fairprice Supermarket, a cinema and Wild Wild Wet Theme Park. Just a 5 minutes drive away there's White Sands Shopping Centre and 10 minutes drive will bring you to Changi Business Park, Changi International Airport, Jewel at Changi Airport, Changi City Point as well as Changi Village. And there's also Tampines Retail Park where where IKEA Courts and Giant Hypermarket are located. For schools within 1km, there's Kajorina Primary School as well as Pasir Ris Primary School. In the future, by 2030, the Pasir Ris East MRT will be ready and that provides you with another option on the Cross Island Line. We have come to the end of this home tour. I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I do. If you are looking for a three bedroom unit in the heart of Pasir Ris and just a stone throw away from Pasir Ris Beach, do drop our listings manager a call below. Do remember to hit the like and subscribe button on our YouTube channel to keep a lookout for our next home tour content. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. If you like to read a real estate research as well as reports, you can go to propertylinebrothers.com. There's an insights link for you to click on. My name is John. Property Living Brothers, always happy to show you the place. And one very special feature, wow, look at this, this is actually a fireplace. Uh, so perfect for the end of year winters that are coming. <laughs>